Hi, and welcome to Lunchtime Prayer Power. I'm Deidre Banks. Today, we're praying for the entertainment mountain, and we're praying for filmmakers, producers, and those in the entertainment industry to have witty ideas and inventions to win souls for Christ and advance the gospel. We're also praying to remove dark programming and witchcraft in entertainment. We see that the magic and the sorcery, the celebration of witchcraft, and, and this idea that witchcraft is not only normal, but that it should be celebrated, that there's uh, the concept of the good witch. And there are no good witches because anything that's wickedness is not of God. God has no wickedness to give us. He has no sickness, no disease to give us. So he's not the one who's inspiring those things. He's not the one that's creating darkness. Amen. So we don't want to gaze upon these things. We want to pray for the entertainment industry to have ideas that will win souls and advance the gospel and not advance darkness. Amen. We also are praying on today for God to inspire people on the entertainment mountain, inspire them that his Holy Spirit would rise up inside of them to ignite a fire in them. Amen. Because as we see people on fire for God, that that creates in and of itself something that's a light, something that's drawing people. Amen. And so we are a light. And as we become more and more fiery, as we more become more and more passionate about the things of God, it is a draw to the loss. And as we act in love, amen, we're passionate about God. And be passionate about God is to be loving, is to be more like him because we're transformed as we show up to his table, as we allow him to prune us, as we allow him to transform us, amen. So we're going to press into this today. No, God created all things, Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And we know he's a creative God. You can look at all the different species of animals. You can look at the stars in the sky. You can look at the heavens and the earth. You can look at the flowers, the trees, the beautiful creatures that he created. So many thousands and thousands of species that are here on this earth. And they were created by our magnificent God, who himself was created by no one. Amen. Genesis 1 and 27. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. So we're created in the image of God. God wants to give us his creativity. He wants to give us witty ideas and inventions. And he has plans for us that are good and not of evil. Jeremiah 29 and 11. For a future and a hope. As we press into him, as we show up to him, he's giving us these Holy Spirit inspired ideas to help us be successful in this life, to help us advance the kingdom of God, to help us win souls for Christ. Jeremiah 10 and 12. But God made the earth by his power. He founded the world by his wisdom. How many of us know we need wisdom on today? And now we need wisdom. And so we're going to pray for wisdom for those on the entertainment mountain to have wisdom about which projects that they should create and having that creativity come from the Holy Spirit, from our one and true living God. God stretched out the heavens by his understanding. So we need knowledge. We need knowledge on the entertainment mountain, knowledge of God, knowledge of him and the holy, the holy of holies, how he moves, how he operates. So we can operate like he operates on that mountain. Amen. So let's pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that you are a creator, God. You are a magnificent God who's created the heavens and the earth and all its glory and its magnificence. Nothing can compare to you. Nothing can compare to your glory, to your beauty, Father God. You are an amazing God who's breathed life into Adam and and breathed life into us. You've given us the power of your Holy Spirit, who Jesus Christ, he left this gift for us that's inside of us that we can access as born again believers. And we thank you, Father God, for your Holy Spirit, for your breath, for your life, Lord. You are our lifeline. And we pray to you on today, coming together, believing you to bless and expand the entertainment mountain, that you, Lord, will breathe life into this mountain so that it can advance the kingdom. Give them witty ideas and inventions. Breathe life into the entrepreneurs, the social media influencers, and the performing artists, that there would be new media, that even in social media, there would be new reels that are helping win souls for Christ, new platforms, new visions, new visionaries, Father God, that the the scene is changing, new people coming forth new influencers coming forth with your mind, Father God, who have the mind of Christ, who want to see souls saved, who want to see witty inventions. They want to see the kingdom of God advanced. We praise you right now, Father God, for your glory, for your power. We thank you, Lord, for your movement on this mountain. We thank you, Lord, for your power and your glory that's coming forth in this mountain to win souls. New jewelry, the bride of Christ is being adorned with new jewelry. 
You're purifying us white as snow. You're purifying us in this hour. We're being transformed more into your glory and you're washing us with your word. You're cleansing us. You're purifying us. You're sanctifying us. And we're justified by faith. We thank you, Father God. It's not our works that save us. It's not our righteous deeds that save us, but our faith in Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, that righteous deeds will come forth because our faith without works is dead, but there's works that's coming forth because we believe in the one and true living God. So we pray for the works, the righteous deeds to come forth. We pray right now, Father God, for the advancement of your kingdom, of your gospel on the entertainment mountain. No more dark programming, no more witchcraft, Father God. We pray for the removal of demonic programs. We pray for removal of witchcraft in the airways and the sound waves and, and the perversion, Father God, that it will be broken down, send confusion and foolishness to the enemy's camp, that there will no longer be destruction on the entertainment mountain. There will no longer be the debauchery and the sexual immorality and the wickedness that's being celebrated and tolerated. Help us, Father God, that the violence that's being promoted. Help us, Lord, in this day when there's so much uh, drugs and violence and gang-related activity. Help us, Lord, that there would be purity in the programming, that there would be celebration of you, that there would be newness of life, Lord. Help us on today. We cry out, Father God, and we ask you to help us to move forth in the plans that you call us because you're saying move forth, move on, move ahead, go forth. You've given us your plans, Lord, but we we ask you, Father God, to help us with the plans you've given us. And even more plans are coming, more plans, more visions, more dreams of the future and what we should do to help advance the kingdom of God. Inspire us, breathe life, pour your fire, your consuming fire on the entertainment mountain. And revive us again that we will turn towards you in a new way. Revive us, Father God. Give us fresh life, fresh understanding, fresh knowledge, fresh wisdom for the days ahead are evil. We are in the last and evil days and the days are short. We need to redeem the time. So we ask you right now, Father God, help us, Lord. We cry out, Father God, Abba, Father, breathe life on us. Breathe life that that you may be lifted high and draw all men into your bosom, Lord. We want to celebrate you on the entertainment mountain. We don't want to celebrate darkness. We don't want to celebrate witchcraft. We don't want to celebrate debauchery and violence and vile activities. We shouldn't even be gazing upon. Even those things shouldn't come upon our lips, Father God. Cleanse us, restore us, and we repent right now, Father God, for gazing upon wickedness, for gazing upon the witchcraft, the debauchery, the sexual immorality. Heal us, restore us, revive us. Forgive us, Lord. We want to gaze upon your beauty. We want to gaze upon you in this hour, Father God. You are a mighty warrior, God, full of wisdom, full of honor, full of understanding. We need your knowledge on today. Help us to build, help us to plant. Help us to restore the families that have been destroyed by violence. The families have been destroyed by the wickedness. The families have been destroyed by the competition. This one and that one, Father God, forgive us, Lord, and restore, 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 restore. Let the entertainment mountain uh, produce programming that restores, that celebrates goodness, that celebrates you, Father God, that lifts you up because you are to be high and lifted up. You're on the throne. So we come boldly before the throne of grace knowing that these shoes are too big for us to fill, but they're not too big for you, Father God. These shoes are not too big for you to fill because you are helping us. You are solid as a rock and we stand on you today, Father God. We stand on your word. We stand on your foundation. You're cleansing us. And when the waves of the enemy, the flood of the enemy comes in, we will not be washed away. We will not be tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine because we're planted. Our feet are planted in you. We're planted in the word. We're not going to be hearers of the word and not doers because we're planted. We're planted. We're planted. Bring the word back to us, Father God. Your spirit brings things back to our remembrance. We ask you to remind us of your word. As we're watching those entertainment, remind us of what we should be watching. Remind us, Father God. And help us that the programming would be programming that celebrates the faith of Jesus Christ, that celebrates you, that celebrates your ideas, that celebrates who you are. It doesn't have to be a show that's all about the Bible, but but that it's about what you believe, Father God, what you're teaching us, what you're showing us, that it, it doesn't uh, promote things that are against who we should be and who we are because we're children of the Most High God. We have the mind of Christ, so help us, Father God, to act like you act. And be who you are in the earth. That we would be Jesus Christ. That we'd be followers of you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God is awesome. He's a mighty God. And he's giving us ideas. What an exciting time to be a believer, amen. 
God is with us. He's for us. We want to be in the house of the Lord. We want to be listening to the ear of God. And man, is he speaking forth. I mean, we, we hear him, but we want to be listening to what he's saying. We want to be hearing what he's saying. We want to be all ears. We want to be all ears at this time, sitting at his table, quiet before him, because he's pouring out. He's pouring out. So people of God receive from our heavenly father. He's amazing. I love you guys so much. Take care.